Hello and welcome in to the 24-7 Sports Football Recruiting Podcast. I'm National Recruiting Analyst Cooper Patagna alongside 24-7 Sports Director of Scouting Andrew Ivins. And another five-star is off the board. That is Jordan Ross, number two edge in all of the land, the number 12 player overall in the top 247. He is going to play his ball for Josh Heupel and Rocky Top, a huge win for Tennessee as they crawl into the top 10 of the 24-7 Sports composite team rankings and drew we've seen over the last two cycles now a big emphasis on the point of attack for Tennessee what can you say about Jordan Ross what it means for Josh Heupel and company given where he's ranked I mean obviously one of our favorite pass rushers here in the 2024 cycle and Cooper you mentioned UT prioritizing uh, really not just the edge rushers, but the defensive side of the ball. I think they understand they need to get better, have to limit opponents. And when I look at Jordan Ross, I, you know, this is the guy I get the most excited about. And I know they've gotten some other four star blue chip type of players in there to Knoxville. Uh, but Jordan Ross over six foot four, we're talking a four, seven kid on the lasers, long arms, multi-sport athlete. He's the one where I'm like, okay, this could be their dude on the edge moving forward in years to come. So I, I think it's big in that sense. And then again, just driving home the theme with Tennessee. We know they're going to score points with Josh Heupel in town, what they've you know landed at quarterback, what they've landed at wide receiver and tight end, have to improve defensively. And I think Jordan Ross is going to make this ball club better uh, at some point down the line. Yeah, Drew, we talked about 2023 a little bit, right? David Hobbs, one of those guys, a huge priority for them last year out of the state of North Carolina. You talk about Chindavian Bradley out of Missouri too a little bit, Caleb Herring in the state of Tennessee. Now you add a guy like Jordan Ross who had everybody after him, Drew. And this is a guy as a player, I think, way more upside than current production right now. I think we expect that to continue to grow and develop on the field. But for us, it was in February when we saw him. 80-inch wingspan, 6'4 half, 215 pounds plus, like you mentioned. Plays basketball as well. That's kind of why the weight's down. It's got a ways to kind of fill out a little bit. I don't know about you. Kind of reminds me of Brian Burns of the Carolina Panthers who played his ball at American Heritage in Florida State. I think his best football is ahead of him. I don't think it's going to be until year two or three in Knoxville. We're going to see Jordan Ross really kind of turn it on. I would echo that. And Brian Burns is a kid that I scouted in high school down here in South Florida. Easy to see the comparisons just with that reach. I always called Brian Burns kind of almost like a spider. I think you can see the same thing in Jordan Roch. You touched on the weight and that basketball background. You're right. We did see him in February at the Atlanta Under Armour camp. And man, Coop, looking back on it, like how loaded was that event just with not only like power five players, but guys that are going to some of these big programs like Tennessee, USC, Georgia, and all that. I, I do think the biggest thing for Jordan Ross and his path to playing time is going to be how much weight and how much mass and bulk can he add, you know, his first six months on campus. I think a red shirt developmental year would make a ton of sense, but if they needed it to him to be a situational rusher, uh, I think he could also get on the field that route as well. Uh, Tennessee took a kid two cycles ago who was kind of in the same boat. Joshua Josephs out of the Atlanta metro area. He was a little more of a tweener, I think, than Jordan Ross. Jordan Ross obviously has the longer reach. And, um, you know, so I, I like it. I, again, I, I think Tennessee has to just get better on defense. And Jordan Ross is going to make them better at some point. So much is said about Josh Heupel, Tennessee, their offensive potency, what they can do on that side of the ball. If you haven't been paying attention, Tennessee has done a tremendous job, not only at the point of attack, but on the back end of their defense as well. So great time on Rocky Top. Drew, any final thoughts before we get you out of here? Tennessee's going to have a good uh, basketball team of football players, right? You said Jordan Ross. He can throw it down. Mike Matthews saw him over the weekend up in Atlanta. Uh, he's a high flyer as well. So I, I'm anticipating some uh, rec league games getting intense, assuming that Tennessee allows those guys to play basketball in the offseason. There you go, guys. If you like this content, make sure to, to subscribe to the 24-7 Sports Football Recruiting Podcast anywhere you find your podcast, Spotify, Apple included. For Director of Scouting, Andrew Ivins, I'm Cooper Patagna. We'll see you next time. <laughs>